Kylie went down. <laughs> wow, she is jacked up on some stilettos. Uh oh. This one maybe not so good. You're lucky your eyeball didn't rupture. So this is supposed to be 640, the big Belgian with the cut face. Yeah. He says he's a year old stallion, which there's no way he's only a year old. Doesn't even show that he has socks. Yeah, no socks. Which he has. Socks. Which he has, yeah. yeah. It looks like he came from a sale in Kentucky in January. And then he's had another sale right in February. So he went from one option straight to the next. But there's no way this is him. So this might just be some junky patterns. I'm kind of thinking. I mean, we looked underneath the hood when he got off the trailer. We didn't see anything, but. Right. We didn't. Know of Jim, check him out when he gets here, I guess. Oh, Jim's here. Oh, Let's go. Awesome. Feels okay. Pretty swollen over here. There's bleeding and pus coming out of it, and it stinks. I know. I'm not your buddy now, am I? Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't think you'd turn into it. <laughs> I think you'd turn away from me. I don't think go all the way through. Pretty good cut right there though. Well, I'll see it just ripped out this corner, see? See, I can just stick my finger right underneath it there, see? What do you think happened there? I caught it on something, probably a piece of tin or something, or a nail. Just ripped the corner oh, of his nose God, right out. Nice. Yep. That's why I'm doing this, I want it to drain me. I <laughs> get that smell out of it. Uh-oh. This one may be not so good. I think it went all the way through his lip up here. Yep, it did. See, my finger can come out. My finger's coming out up there. Let me see what you did to the bones up there. It didn't seem to break any bones. They seem to be okay. He says, thank you very much. Yeah, I got it draining now, though, see? Do you think that being all like, him not being able to move is because it's so swollen? And yeah, just so sore. But it, uh, I, I just cleaned it all the way out, so now I'm just going to flush it. I stuck my finger right down through it. He was so good. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think he broke the bones. I want to see where this one went. This one went down and through. And the other one went a little bit... <laughs> I think you'd be turning the other way. I think you'd go away from it. Itchy. It might. What are you looking at? Um, I'm just going to flush that through with some just some Novasan solution. Yeah. 
I'm just going to flush it down through there and we'll just give them a shot of like XC. Or you can put them on Uniprim too. Uniprim's cheaper. Okay. You can use it for a longer period. It'll take quite a bit. Yep. Only at least well, two scoops a day. Yeah. Well, two scoops will do 1,100 pounds. he will probably need about three. <laughs> yeah. Well, then we don't see nuts. Come on, buddy. Oh, buddy. I know that's probably why it works. Well, I'm working on the other side. <laughs> of course, you got a little. Oh. oh man, you're older than that. Yeah. Look at this guy. He's at least four. Move your tongue, fella. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's older than that. But he doesn't have that star down there either on the bottom. So that makes him over over seven to eight. I think your head weighs as much as me. God, it probably does. <laughs> Come here. I'm betting the cog on the sport has to get it. <laughs> it did say Belgian, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, he's older than one. Yeah. Way older than one. Come from the same place? Yeah, he hasn't got his groove yet. I put him in that 10, 12 range. 10, 12? Yeah. Was that so bad? Yeah, it was. <laughs> he is not one. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> he flexes nice. Yeah, you can touch his shoulder real easy. Doesn't seem to have a neck problem. <laughs> Do I still get Nate to hold you? Um, I got drugs. You gonna blow bubbles? <laughs> this is kind of soapy stuff. <laughs> Okay, but it's all just that upper lip. I don't know what you got it on. Catching a hook or something? It went all the way through like that. This is just straight disinfectant here, cellar. Right. Because you can't eat. I mean, that's probably sore, but you can't eat. This side, this side works good. <laughs> it's just his lip that hurts. Teeth seem to be all right. I was looking for fractures up in there and I didn't feel anything. This looks like just a giant puncture wound there. Boy, you feel good now, don't you? Huh? That, that's good drug. I gave you a little of that 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 dorm, that, that torb. I mean, that's good painkiller, isn't it? Doesn't feel so bad right now, huh? I could give you a little more. <laughs> really send you out in the left field as far as pain goes, but only lasts for eight hours. Be very flexible. Okay. Well, it's bad, but it's not hopeless. No testicles, so yeah, new coggins. Here, smell. Oh, you're gonna work on your feet, okay? Now go all the way down the side. Good, he's actually got very hard feet. Okay, bud, right here. You're good. You're gonna snip them nail heads. <laughs> wow, she is jacked up on some stilettos. Oh, they even put cute little Borium shoes on you. Look at that. Sorry, bud. They're so cute. Yeah, he hasn't been done, or she hasn't been done in a long time because her bars have completely folded over. She was so long that her foot was past the nail line. Six months. So kudos to whoever put him on, because he <laughs> did a good job. It's, it's nice to see a shoe stay on, but when they stay on that long and they grow, it's growing past the heel where you want to have it set in the back, and that can just really... I mean, you can collapse heels, you can strain tendons, you can, you can do some serious damage if they get too far forward growing with that. It's all dead, deteriorated soul. That's insane. It's so deep that my nippers goes as far as it can. Oh, God. Oh, ho. I gotta take a breather. Come on, it's not cool. We gotta at least have a cool story to tell. I'll have to say I fell on the ice. Surprised the shoe even stayed on for all that. Ah!
You look pretty big with that snowbank right out front. So it's kind of odd. They put in saddle horse nails, not draft nails, which I'm kind of surprised it held up, but well, a draft horse nail is just bigger, thicker, longer. And a saddle horse nail, I mean, a city head five is like them copper nails that I put in today. I'm surprised it stayed on. You don't need a stock, you just need to be brain dead. She's about size too small to, this is a six, and I'd call her about a seven. The shoe actually isn't bad. They probably can't be more than, I'm gonna guess they put it on a week, 10 days before the sale. There's no, I mean, you're not gonna see wear because of the borium, but there's hardly anywhere where the breakover is even. Yeah, we'll get you fixed up, okay. Coming down your back, up you come. Come on, hon. Yeah, look at how long she is, Cindy. They just threw shoes on her. She hasn't been trimmed in eight months. Rather nice. No, just hold it now for me. You're about, yeah, you're rather long. Poor thing. <sighs> Can we take her home? So I'm seeing two old blood blisters here, and this foot's very rough. It's not finished yet for anybody that has questions. But there's some old blood blisters there, and now this is, I've, I grew up with drafts, and I've seen that a lot. You get that from undersized shoes from being on the pressure and then along the hoof wall where your nail line would be you always have like a black dot from your your mark but them ones have turned almost brown ish red so I would guess a hot nail missed the nail mark and caused a hot nail and at one point she was probably lame almost almost as a scar My bite. You're on a bit of a snowbank. <sighs> Are you recording right now? Yeah. In case you wanted to say something now. <laughs> Careful. You're scaring me a little. <laughs> so we have had some lovely warm weather lately, which is amazing. But now it's not so warm. And all the melting snow, watch where you step, oh. is turning into glare ice. Yeah, this was real fun to go up last night when I was taking the hay out. I can't breathe. Do you want some of this? I don't think so. So as you can see, the entire driveway is glare ice. So we have Gary here, salting and sanding for us. Cindy's just talking with him, asking if he wants us to all move our cars. She slid down the driveway. Actually not as slippery with my tennis on. What's going on? Um, he's gonna go start over there while we get our cars moved. Cause otherwise that's where most of the ice is. All right. Here comes Maureen to move her car. Cindy's moving the hay truck. Marissa's moving my car. Ignore the dents in the side of my car. A deer and I had a discussion. Cindy almost fell. And Cheryl is moving hers. Grandma almost hit me with the mule. Bad women driving around. She's sandy. Marissa, guess what? What? The Sandman came today. <laughs> As you can see, he got like every square inch of the driveway. Even way up there and our problem area, which is right over there. 
Now the girls are just bringing the vehicles back and parking them. Run, Marissa, run! And Cindy is moving Marissa's car. <laughs> You parked too far over, so you were in another parking spot, so she's moving it. What are you doing? I am trying to make it slipperier for everyone out front. No, I'm trying to get all this hay off. This is where we unload the hay off all the snow here so it can melt. Then I'll just sit and preserve it forever, and I want this side to like be clear as snow like this. Kylie, guess what? The Sandman just came. <laughs> Looks like you have a lot of stuff today. What y'all got? Clothes for work and a gift for Renee. Kylie went down. <laughs> Kylie, what happened? What happened? I was just walking in. <laughs> Are you okay? You're good. Good. So we had one of our YouTube supporters, subscribers, subscribers um, reach out to us and they offered to buy us a pizza lunch for everyone at the shelter. And Wednesdays are usually our busiest days. Everyone's everyone's there helping out, volunteers and all. So we Plus are- Plus uh, vet farrier today. Yes, vet and farrier. So they'll get to have some too. So we are on our way to Fat Boys to pick up five large pizzas that were donated to our shelter and hopefully we will be able to eat it all. I'm really hungry. Me too. So we are here at Fat Boys and we are gonna pick up our pizzas. So I'm guessing got her foot caught in a gate or fence, something. At some point, got it cut on something. The scar tissue goes from all the way down. I would say, you know, see, looks like it dug into the hoof quite a ways too. But doesn't seem to, no inflammation. It's not like stiff arthritic or anything, just an ugly scar, but. Ho, 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 ho. I need what I got left for toes, girl. As you can see, I mean, she's had maybe a... She's lacked some nutrients for a while. It's been long enough to where now it's kind of impacted the feet. When you cut through with the nippers on a foot that thick, you should have to work for it. But along the lines there, you've got some separation caused from a nutrient imbalance and I hope that thick shouldn't bend like rubber you hear how hollow that sounds being her hoof wall is so brittle the feet are just growing every which way I mean you got this you got a flare on the inside all the way up to the quarter. Then it's nice from here and around, then you've got another flare. And up here, the flare has grown so far that the hoof wall, the internal structure of the hoof's grown with it. So that's when you gotta kinda bring back in chapters. That's just a poor nutrition and poor maintenance. It's not, it's not horrible, it's fixable, it's just, Another hoop to jump through, but it's, we've seen worse. So you can see here on this, the internal quarter part, there's a lump, just a growth defect, and how that's all shifted that way, 
but you don't have one on this side of the quarter, that's just turned into a flare. So when that hoof becomes that brittle and soft and weak, it just, it's gonna grow in waves however it feels. So proper nutrition will, you know, have that back and run. Cheryl, what do you say? We go 50-50, adopt the whole herd. Ooh. Oh, hey. come on, honey. Just work with me, baby. Just work with me. Easy. Just take a picture of the... You're okay, hun. Uh, You're okay. I really don't know about this whole thing. <laughs> this is new. God, she's long. Holy crap. I'm gonna try. Really nasty bruising. I promise I'm not touching you. There's a lot of hoof. It's a lot of hoof. How long do you think it's been since she's been trimmed? A year. Wow. Jeez. Whoa. There's a ledge there. <laughs> I just got a hammer cock too. Here, just let me brush this down the side of you. That's more of a sore issue than a, like she's stiff, not like, cause she, if she would have kicked, she would have just went boom. Right. Well, let's see if you can even get your foot up. You're okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. No, I don't know what it is. A little bit, but not near as bad, but it's like it gets so far back and it locks. So I'm hoping that's not like a fused stifle. Are you feeling anything, Paul? Well, I'm just trying to see if there's any sort of like, like she's super tense above her hips, but she's going to be from walking, so, you know, mm -hmm. phase her. And normally that would send her through the roof. My guesses would be someone mounted her and probably pushed her right to the ground. Or too big of a stud. I've seen that happen. Geez, horse, when were you done last? Now, let's get you filed up, bud. <laughs> kind of the same deal on this horse with that Pertron cross. A little, little brittle. Nothing, I mean, it's still healthy, but not what it should be. <clears throat> no, just give me a minute. They started trimming that foot at one point and quit. Because he had marks. Like when you're nipping a horse and you go along, it was like, you cut the toe and then all of a sudden they quit here, so you had this big notch, and it was wore down. Hi, what did you bring us, Jody? Yeah, you a freezer. A uh, freezer. Yeah. No. I cleaned out a spot, but we'll see. It will fit. It's okay. It should fit in there. <laughs> Let's get it in. <laughs> Captain Jody brought us a freezer. So you did it? <laughs> Which way is this open? We gotta go the other way. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that! 
Can I put all the weight gain in there? <laughs> thank you. Gain? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hi. Wow. I wouldn't have picked Pertrin. Pertrin and Cross. Polly thought Pertrin standing, maybe. Yeah, we be. don't know how old she is. It just aged. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> aged. Aged. <laughs> Age is right. Yeah, let's see. We're above twenty-five. And push you up to 30. Uh, I say 28. We'll make a compromise. 28? <laughs> a little puffy in there. Yeah, she's real algae. You're puffy on this one, too. Actually, you do better if I do it this way, huh? Jesus, I don't think I want to do that too much. Well, you did it pretty good there. Good deal. A little algae. Not bad, though. It's not arthritic, it's just sore, yeah. You see, you're awful. She's got a little, you know, just swelling in the hocks there. You can stick your finger right in it there, see. Uh, I want to see how sore it is, but I don't know if it's arthritis. Maybe you're just stocking up type of deal. I'm sure she's not swollen her lower legs too much. No, not too bad. Oh, come on, girl. Can you bend this one? Does it hurt? It doesn't feel like a knobby, like arthritis. The soft swelling. I don't know if you're just pawing around or banging it around. Well, that's real stuff, uh, I wonder if she got limes. She also had a bunch of like white discharge coming out of her vulva. Oh, she did. When we got out of the auction. Okay. Well, it doesn't look bad there now. I don't see any signs of vaginitis there. Oh. Uh, suck a mirror in there. Maybe that's why. <laughs> she didn't look all irritated or raw in there at all. So that's good. Yeah. Maybe just sucking a little air up in there. Might get a little vaginitis down deeper in there. I don't think it's like critical or anything. Boy, you're really sucked up in your gut, aren't you? I think that's more old age type thing. I wonder about this. We'll listen to her first, too. I might just take her temperature and see if she's running a fever. Buddy, how are you, good girl? Hmm? Uh, I think you're just an aged lady. Hi. Uh, what you thinking? Huh? What you thinking, girl? Oh, goodness. Okay. Heart and lungs are good. Lymph nodes are good. Hawks are puffy, though. Puffy in your knees. Hmm. Oh, I was going to take her temperature okay. and see if she's running a fever. If maybe that make her joints swell up. Check for limes. Let's see if she's got limes. Okay. She is going to be running a little bit of a fever. She's already up to 101. Yeah. So she's probably going to go a little over that. Yeah. On a cold day like today, they're usually below normal. So you know, she is up a little. I mean, that's what causes her joint swelling, too. I wonder if we had to run a snap test on her just to rule limes in or out. Some kind of infection, something bugging her. That might explain why her joints are a little puffy, a little swollen. Fifteen, huh? His groove goes all the way to the bottom of his tooth. He yeah. makes him around twenty, doesn't it? <laughs> well, we'll shave that brand and see if we can find him too. Hey, you like that, don't you? You feel good. You seem good. A few scars down there around that fetlock, don't you? Well, you bend it good, though. <laughs> okay. Just an old scar there. All right, buddy. Oh, you're okay. I'm only covering one nostril. Okay, That's both sides. Okay. Okay. I don't think it's these lungs. It must be up here. You can breathe, you know. You don't have to hold your breath. <laughs> Are you sure?
real shell. You know, no. Yeah. <laughs> he won't breathe while I'm listening. <laughs> no, he's holding his breath. <laughs> That's going to fly. <laughs> Maybe I'll just wait, and eventually you're going to have to breathe. <laughs> is it so bad? All I want to do is listen and see if that's where the rattle's coming from. Breathe, buddy. You won't take a breath. <laughs> I'm watching his stomach, too. He's like, nope, not going to breathe. <laughs> Okay. Well, it's up here. It's not in these lungs. Heart is good, no? Heart is good. Heart and lungs are good. Lymph nodes are good. I don't think it, unless you see a discharge or something, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, I know. You won't breathe when I want to listen to you. I was listening to his trachea on his windpipe, and there was no rattle up there either. So, yeah. Feel that? Oh, you felt that. How about this, though? So. Yeah, he doesn't feel that, does he? He has nerve damage. Yeah, he doesn't feel that. Look at that. He gets really upset when I did a lower lip. <laughs> I just touched that and he's throwing his head around. That doesn't bug you. Well, I stick my finger in your nose. <laughs> Nobody likes that. Not like <laughs> Maybe I can get a response out of you. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, he says, maybe I finally ticked you off, you know. <laughs> well, then we got to be some feeling, right? Yep. He knows I'm there. You're just not reacting. You're just not telling me. But he still stinks. Yeah. Shoot. How's that? How's that? F-R-I-T-U-L-E. How you doing? Hmm? How you doing? Looking around, huh? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Blind guy, you're just hanging around up here, huh? <laughs> you feel good? You feel good? Yeah. You look a little younger. You look younger than 17. Even looks a little younger than 17, like 15. And it looked okay. He did think the right front, it looked like, um, well, it was an old bruising. Oh, okay. I thought maybe a hot nail at one point, but she's really OG. Okay. Do we have two around? We can do it. Who's this one? Cannoli. C A N N O L I. Oh. Okay, buddy. Oh, you're a hairy, hairy girl. What are you feeling, Jim? Your suspensory ligament. She acts like it kind of hurts. You gonna pick it up for me this time? Yeah, they're kind of sore, aren't they? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why she's kind of tender. See, that really hurts. She, yeah, see, whenever I pinch it, she just yeah. flinches right away. She just pull up tight. Okay, <laughs> that's unusual. See, this one doesn't hurt. Oh, it's just the right front Just the right front. He's pinched testing. Her right front uh, suspensory ligament is ouchy. Pretty ouchy. Yeah, see, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> Good girl. No, it's just a suspensory ligament. That's the only one that hurts, too. The other three, she's fine. But this one, when you pinch it, she's, she'll flinch just every right time you pinch it. Yeah, just right front. So what do you think? Oh, um, it's probably just, well, she's doing it right, just rest. <laughs> Try not to slip on the ice. Well, yeah, if she's going to be icy out there, every time she slips, it stretches that out on her. You're not too old. Yeah, at 15, would be pretty close. 15? Yeah. You're not too old. 
15. Look old. Yeah, but see, she's got a little cloud there. Oh, come on, open your eye up. <laughs> and she's got a little little ulcer there. See that white spot right there? Got one on this side too. Nope, this side's good. She kind of keeps this one a little bit close, and that's probably why. Because it hurts. See? She blinks every time I come at her. She can, she can see around that old healed ulcer there. But she can see around it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, that's a good thing. Why? Must have been a heck of an injury. <laughs> You're lucky your eyeball didn't rupture. Oh, can you come up here for just a second? 15's about right. 15? Yeah. Little pony. I'll bet you don't last. Yeah, you won't last long. <laughs> You'll probably go fast. People are looking for your little girls. My <laughs> stethoscope got turned. There was no sound at all. I thought, God, she's dead. <laughs> You don't have to bend your knee. I don't even want you to bend it, in fact. Stifle feels okay. There's no swelling in it or anything. Well, see, it feels okay. I don't feel any swelling or anything. Yet. I'm trying not to bend her hock. See, that's why I don't want her to bend her hock. I want her to bend her stifle. But she won't, <laughs> she won't bend her hock. But she's even bend it up pretty good. I don't know if you can extend it backwards very well. Okay. Well, you're not doing too bad. <laughs> you sure don't like to have it touch, but you'll let, you'll let me bend it, see? She'll bend it up. Which I was kind of surprised. I didn't think she'd do it, but she doesn't want to extend it. So you don't want to stick it out. Okay. Let's see what you do on the other side. <laughs> see? See? I want, you, I want you to bend your stifle, not your hock. Okay? Her stifles feel good. There's no, there's no swelling in them or anything. Yeah. I think part of it is that she doesn't want to straighten it out. <laughs> he wondered if she didn't, uh, you know, get mounted and, like, drop to the ground or something. Yeah. How are your hips doing, huh? Well, you feel pretty good. Okay. What do you think, huh? I think on the whole, you'd rather I just left you alone, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure that's what you said. Huh. Oh, yeah, she had a good tail. I just, I was just trying to get her to just shift her weight back and forth. Boy, it's touchy in there, isn't it? Yep, right there. That's where the swelling is, too. He says, you can just leave that alone any time. <laughs> She's trying to stand them out, does she? Both sides really hurt, too. On the extension part, I was always figuring, you know, with hocks, a lot of times it's flexion. They don't want to bend them up, but she bends them up fairly well, but she sure doesn't want to straighten them out afterwards. Oh, there we go. There you go. Nope, you're not going to stand out though, it does it. Uh, I think it's mostly the hocks. Yep, you do, feather. Okay. Not real bad. He's got one. Yep. Where's bad as a heart? Of course, I saw her earlier today. Of course, had such a bad heart murmur. Every heartbeat, you can see you know, blood shooting up the jugular vein. That's really, that's really bad back flushing. <laughs> Poor little horse. <clears throat> Poor old guy. 
right. Well, at least yours isn't that bad. You can probably live many years with it. Okay. Can you show me how good your hawk flux is? Thank you. <laughs> Just that heartbeat, or that, that heart murmur. And that's never a good sign for a horse this age. He is waiting. We are about to get hammered with snow this week.